The football team has no name. The New York Giants are a bunch of crybabies. And the Dallas Cowboys haven't won a Super Bowl since these girls were telling us to stick to the rivers. You are now watching a Philly Fuego production. Gracias amigos. Fly Eagles Fly. Welcome to the Nest Out West, where Eagles fans are always the best. The true diehards, they know what I mean. Cause once you're in, you always bleed green. Now I don't wanna sound too cocky, but I'm gonna bring the content like Rocky. Body shot, body shot, left to the chin. I bring the heat cause I'm in it to win. It's your boy Philly Foothills here with the side of fuego for the cheer. And we wanna thank you all so very much for a great first year. Yeah. Hola, mi amigos. Is I, Fidi Fuego, producer of the Nest Out West, with a real quick song from Mr. Howie Roseman in regards to J.J. Watt. Don't sign J.J., don't sign J.J. He's been hurt quite a bit. He'd be better off in Pittsburgh, cause they're a better fit. Don't sign J.J., don't sign J.J., cause he's over the hill. He wants too much money, and we can't fit the bill. Don't sign J.J., don't sign J.J., we don't need his services. We'd be better going younger, so let's go with youth instead. Adios, amigos. On to the nest out west, and as always, fly goes fly. What is good? What is going on? And what is cracking? I am Philly Foothills, and I am back in the nest out west, where I'm trying to bring you the best when it comes to Philadelphia Eagles content. Bill Billies, thank you for joining me. Happy Saturday to everybody. I hope this video finds you safe and well, and you're able to watch this in a peaceful setting. <clears throat> Before we get into the, to a couple topics I got to talk about today, uh, kudos, kudos to my producer, Mr. Philly Flago. You are always straight fire, sir. And yes, we will definitely get into some JJ Watt talk in a little bit here. But um, first, let's handle some business. Um, again, if you are new to my channel, this is where you're going to come for your for your newest Eagles content. Um, again, I go by Philly Foothills. This is the Nest Out West. You are watching a Philly Fuego production. And we are only growing by the days. Um, we are well over 300 subscribers now. So um, thank you to everybody who has liked and subscribed and shared the videos. We greatly appreciate it. Um, we are internally grateful to all of you. But uh, if you are new to my channel, become a Philbilly. Smash that subscribe button like Fletcher Cox smashes that running back through the hole. Become a Philbilly, like I said. And, and if you want, um, and by, ding, by hitting that subscription, you will get all of my content. Um, you will become a Philbilly. And if you want notifications on my content, go ahead and ding that bell right there. And whenever you are done watching this video, I, I do greatly, greatly appreciate every moment of your time. I know um, times, are the, time, times are precious these days, but... Uh, it's the weekend, so I greatly appreciate it even more. But uh, go ahead and hit that like button down below when you're done watching the video. But um, yeah, Phil Billy's. A couple things. So um, Jay, v v Jay Vulai, who is going, who is supposed to be our new assistant defensive back coach, uh, is going back to the college ranks. <laughs> um, it's kind of, this guy's been. This guy's been undecisive, to, to say the least. So he signed with, right before he signed with us, two weeks before he signed with us, he signed with the University of Houston, the University of Houston, and um, we, not even two weeks after after we signed him to be the new defensive back coach, um, he is now going to be the. Or no, it, we we signed him to be the assistant defensive back coach. I guess which, which the title he was given. I guess he wasn't happy with that. He wants a little more responsibility, uh, or he 
maybe he just wants to go win a couple of national championships because he's um, it looks like he is going to be working for Mr. Nick Saban at the University of Alabama. So I guess thank you for your time, Mr. Jay Vulai. I don't know. Um, I thought maybe he was a little butthurt. My, my theory was uh, because he did own his own strength and conditioning business uh, a few years back, that that might be what he was angling towards. And since he didn't get that position with the Eagles, maybe he was a little butthurt about that. But I don't know. Um, that's just speculation on my part. Nothing that I've read or anything like that. But um, that's just that's just my thoughts, Phil Billy's. Um, that's what I'm here for. You know, like I've like like I do like I do say. Whenever the news does break, I always come give you my take. You know, um, that's what I'm here for. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, been doing it now for for a good solid year this past season and enjoyed every minute of it been doing it more solidly more recently been putting a lot more time and effort into it so i definitely i definitely uh, greatly appreciate all the new the new growth to the channel but anyway don't let, let's not let's not let me get off topic so yeah uh jay vulai is going to be the new defensive back coach at alabama and he will not be on the Philadelphia Eagles staff this year. So now on to the chatter on, you know, all, all the, all the chatter from the Eagles fans since Mr. JJ Watt has been released from the Houston Texans. And <laughs> I mean, it, to me, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make sense for either side. I mean, first for, for JJ, it's not making sense because first, like I said, for, for on JJ side, he, he only has what, maybe two or three more productive years left. I think at most, especially with the injuries that he's had and um, some of the problems that he's had with, with staying healthy and staying on the field. So I, I would think that he's going to want to go to someone who's going to be a contender right away and that's not us. We are at least two or three years probably away from being a, a serious contender again. And, um, you know, he can make more money and he can win quicker elsewhere. So, I mean, to me, it's it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, why? And on the Eagles side, <clears throat> it's a no-brainer for J.J. And unless he's willing to come to Philadelphia and play on a cheap one or two max year two possible year max deal real cheap then we can't afford him i mean you know and he's an aging star with injury so why do we want to go down that path again we went down that path with like connor barwin we went down that path with javon curse going back i mean we went we've been down that that older linebacker slash defensive end type of players who are, you know, on the back nine of their career. So, you know, I'm just not, I'm definitely not, not, not interested in JJ, you know, unless he's willing to, you know, kind of pull a, a Chris Long and take a real cheap deal and come and try to win us a championship, you know, next year or the year after. But, um, I mean, if he wants any serious type money, no, sorry, man. Like like Philly Fuego said, you're better off going to play with your brother, TJ, in Pittsburgh. And I, that's what I honestly think that's where he's going to land. That's where I think um, he has the best chance to... The best chance to succeed within the parameters of the remainder of his career. You know what I mean? So, um, And I am not going to mention any of the quarterback trade controversy or anything like that today we're giving it a break um i shouldn't even have said that so i apologize but um definitely not going to touch on that today um i think i've said my piece i love and appreciate each and every one of you please drop me some comments down below in the comment section hit that like button and smash that subscribe button become a philbilly ding that bell so you get the notifications of all my videos and as always fly eagles fly and until next time stay mean stay green and thanks for viewing me on your screen peace deuces